All right then, it all comes down to this in Group 6 of the Champions League. Jimmy Croxton can still qualify. He needs to win against Declan Brennan. If he does that, it's six red shootout time for who qualifies. If Declan Brennan gets a draw, or if Declan Brennan wins, Declan Brennan qualifies for the next stage. It's a successful opening break for Jimmy. Yeah, a big match then for both. But Jimmy's going to have to do something that he's not done with Ultimate Pool, and that's beat Declan Brennan. Two for two. Two losses from two. Does he have a next ball? Obviously he can play the one that he's nearest to, but not really a cue ball off that. He'd love to be on the one nearest bottom left-hand corner. Mm. Grimace tells us <laughs> he's not sure. But it looks like he's always playing it, so he must be. Yeah, just like a... Maybe just a... Well, he played it with a lot of sides. Maybe he did need to just bend it a fraction. He played it beautifully. That's a lovely piece of control. Yeah, very nice. And now he's got a great chance to get out here with a break clearance in the opening frame. Jimmy. Wow. Well, that's a huge surprise. That's a big error. I mean, he's, he's got himself in perfect shape here. Just left himself a touch too much angle on that one, which is why he's missed it. He just tried to pick the pocket rather than it being a sort of, you know, a, just an outrageous miss. You know, he was trying to put it off that jaw and just, just gave it a touch too much. But, yeah, it's still a, a big, big error from him. And... Declan's just going straight for the counter here. Doesn't need that top left-hand corner. Uh, even early on, and it is still very early on in this match. Have we potentially seen the defining moment? That's how small the margins can be in these rapid-fire matches. Does the yellow he's next to pass the other yellow to left centre? Because if it does, he can just drop this in and then it's dropping, dropping, dropping. If not, he's going to have to play a half a shot here from Hampered. nowhere yeah this is tough all of a sudden because he's got to try and find a way to connect these two yellows oh, it's bottom right he can just actually just control this he doesn't have to overhit it he can just come on and off oh, that's big as well that's bigger than the one that Jimmy missed simply because of it's the second one Jimmy gets let off the hook here in the opening frame then Oh, he's going to feel so positive about his chances now. Yeah, that is a surprising error from Declan Brennan, who has been so clean and clinical.
see Declan, he's already picked up his brake cue. He's not expecting anything other than uh, losing his frame. Nor's Jimmy, absolutely perfect on the eight ball. And a huge, huge let off. Declan really will not want the six red shootout more than any other player on the tour, I think. He's had some tough success with it, or tough luck losses with it, we should say. Not a good split. Didn't really open up for him, didn't really catch it. And he knew it straight away, but he'll just be pleased to be at the table. But these reds aren't terrible, though. And now he's got the angle. He can play the one bottom right and go into the yellow, which should pop open the red and the eight ball and the red above it. And he doesn't have to go into it with any pace. Just wants to nudge them open, then everything should go. Keep an eye on the cue ball here. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, actually really nice because he can go right centre here, yeah. drop it in and get on the one on the cushion. And he should just about be straight enough to hold. If not, he'll come back out, but if he can just drop the one into the bottom right and hold for the one that he's nearest to, essentially the work is done, and then it's just making sure. I didn't think he could hold, and he's going to go in off. Oh, it's a poor one from Declan. It's a very poor one. see he's almost pleading with it to stop. Agonising isn't it? Yeah. Jimmy Croxton has got a huge chance here. Yeah, wonder if... I, I, the yellow he's just played is away from the rest of the work, but it was fine in the middle of the table. I just wonder whether short position on the one directly below the eight ball middle of the three might have been easier but I suppose it's no problem drop this one in and then you get on that ball yeah maybe can't really argue against the, the way he's gone he's got to get this shot right it looks nothing because it looks like you're just dropping it in but you won't want to just drop this in and leave the next one thin nice take the right hand one of the two drop it in and then you're on naturals looks like he's just about straight enough just to drop it in reach the cushion and you'll be fine and he's going to go through the other one first and maybe use the eight ball it still works he's still absolutely fine here it's not tied the eight ball up or anything he's going to be using the bottom left and eight ball goes right center more angle than is ideal. I think no, yes, but he's controlled it well. Yeah, just dies it in dead weight. No, it's a very good visit. Two big mistakes from Declan Brennan, you have to say. Oh. Oh, miss hits the break. Gets what you expect from a miss hit break. And yeah. oh, a nice a nice layout. Tommy Teapot's back. Yeah. <laughs> Three. Oh. Don't get to see the teapot. Yeah. Oh, his first shot's gone wrong. No, he just had the spin on it. Just hits the cushion and just gets out. He's at least on the one top left. Worst case. Just when he first hit that shot, I thought it was going to stick behind the red. Yeah. 
you know, they're all there. Shouldn't be any mistakes, and it should be fairly quick as well. Although speed isn't really the big issue for Declan at the moment. No, there's loads of time in the match in that sense. I'd say loads. There's enough time in the match. Well, 8.19 is loads in ultimate pool terms. <laughs> yeah, still plenty that can change in that sense. Just got to allow the one, I know it looks so simple, the, the red bottom left, just don't allow that to be a problem. Just has to play half a shot here. Well, that little nudge on the yellow. Still a fairly comfortable eight ball, isn't it? But if it tracked too much further, it would have been awkward. Cue ball was close, but he's made a ball. Yeah, that's got a chance. That would have been a tough in off. That really would have been. Yeah, wouldn't it just? I mean, look at that. I mean, how does. <laughs> it goes in and out almost, yeah. doesn't it? You can see the cue ball just drop a fraction over the lip of the pocket. It's a good layout as well. Two reds are a plant bottom right. I think the red below the eight ball goes bottom left. So this is. should be a fairly comfortable out for him few shots to play here just to connect them together, mind. Yeah, it's the, it's the shot when he plays the plant, the red that he's playing, he doesn't want that to tie up with the yellows or even stay where it is. He wants to be make sure it gets itself into play. So if it does stay where it is, he needs a good angle on it to be able to get back out so the yellows don't get into play. Mm. He's just about okay. I think he can just get this enough to screw out. Also, the red's low enough that he can actually pot it right centre from low. Yeah, he could just nip it enough. So yeah, that was fine. Hard to know if the pace he's going about this is helping or helping him or hurting him. Probably helping him because if you kind of in mentally think your opponent's going to break clear, he's going to want two minutes to have another break clearance of his own to win the match or to win the, the group, as in it would give him the draw. First things first, get the frame on the board. So 2-2, two, two. four minutes and 14 seconds remain. This break is crucial. Can Jimmy Crockton find the ball? He's just coming across it a, a touch. Earlier on, he was squaring that front ball up. The cue ball was coming up the middle of the table, but now it's always going across to the right-hand side. So he looks very frustrated with that break, but he hasn't hit the break particularly well the last couple. That, that one was better than the, the previous one, but it still wasn't as well as he was hitting it earlier on. It's still two dry breaks at the absolute worst time, but... Oh, another twist. I'm not sure he's left a, a red on at the top of the table. He's got a red down the table. They sort of all block each other. Another twist. Head in his hands for Declan. That's, yeah, that's a, a 30 second waste as well. He's used his extension. He's used up about 30 seconds. Wow. If that, 
Oh, oh he's, what a fluke. Oh, what a fluke. Oh, oh, oh. And this, the red he's just played will go off the yellow. That's incredible. He could get out here still. That is a huge fluke. If that red didn't go, why go reds? The yellows were on. That's an incredible fluke. What a time to pull that out. Yeah, that fluke was, well, that's outrageous, isn't it? That's absolutely outrageous. And Declan will be sat there right now thinking, OK, now he's back onto mentally preparing himself for a, a break clearance to win the night. Yeah, and he needs to prepare like that. Because it would be easy to get a bit in your own head and to think, oh, I can't believe that's gone against me. It's not meant to be. It's still in his own hands. It's still under his control. Jimmy's running clock a little bit here. If he is to go 3-2 in front, and he should, it does favour the Joker to take as much time off the clock as possible. See that clock ticking down. He'll wait for the beeps. Couldn't miss that eight ball. Could have potted it in one second. Took all of 13, 14. Cool. Eight, he threw. Oh my word, that eight ball was flying and then gets stopped in its tracks. He threw everything at that. Oh, and the red's dropped in at the bottom. Does that help him or hurt him? I mean, it's a, a ball less he's got a pot. Mm, that red's got tied up. Does it go top left now? No, does it go right centre? He'd want to be pretty straight on it if he does play for it right centre. He can get pretty straight on it now, I think. Yeah, that's fine. You can drop it in. And you want to be just past the straight on the next one, just so you can punch the gap. Yeah, this is this is fine. It looks like it's it's awkward because he's gone, you know, he's gone past the straight, but the gap's perfect now. This is just a normal stun shot. Just make the part the cue ball does its thing. Just like that. This is where you'd probably want to run a little bit of clock, although I don't think it'll matter a huge amount. Can prevent Jimmy having a, a break for a golden break, it'd be nice, but he's not gonna be able to. Not unless he wants to load it up with spin. Can't see him doing that. So he rolls in the eight ball. He goes 3-3. Three, three, and the only way that Jimmy Croxton can qualify from the night is with a golden break. All eyes on the eight ball. It has remained completely stationary. And Declan Brennan...